guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a double processed stamping technique. This is a technique that I saw off the lovely nail stamp for fun. She explains it probably much better than I am going to. It is um, different to double stamping. Uh, the process is different in how you achieve it because with this you um, stamp this onto your stamper and with double stamping you'd put that onto your nail then you would do this process and stamp that onto your nail that's double stamping this is double processed stamping um, so now I'm going to take the same stamper which I got the other image on and place it over onto my stamper and then hopefully you'll see when I put it onto here that you can only see sort of snippets of the flowers and butterflies this is probably not the the best two images to put together you do have to kind of try and find the best plates it is about um, the images that you use so I'm going to try this um, flower design of another plate and you basically want a image where you've got a lot of like block color for instance, you can see like some of the, the flowers are really, it's like a block colour. Um, actually, these are both block colours, actually. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'll try and explain it. Can you see how the flowers are, are only on like the feather outline? It's not going over the complete nail. That's why it's double processing. You're kind of infusing the two images together. So it's a super cool technique, especially if you get the right stamping images as well, which uh, Nail Stamp for Fun does have. Her uh, design that she came up with looked fantastic. So I'm putting this onto a nail just to see how it look on the nail. And obviously the top part of it <laughs> didn't stamp very well but what I, what I think is cool about this is you can still see the base color underneath I'm just putting it over white just uh, for easiness and and so it's more clear to you guys uh, about the process but if you've got some really cool images that you can have so much fun with this so I've managed to stamp it a lot better this time so I'm just going to put this onto the nail and I think it just looks really really funky and I hope you guys like it so kind of not all images work um, as I'm going to show you with this one so I've got like a dainty detail I'm putting it over this which I thought I had enough of a solid colour but when you put it onto the roller you can see it just didn't really work sorry if not everything I'm doing is in shot all the time because you have to be quick with this process uh, I'm just trying to do it as quickly as possible um, but I'm show you uh, in multiple times uh, the different techniques that I'm using and which images work and which images don't so I'll show you this swatch here Oops. So you can see it kind of worked, but I wouldn't particularly put that on my nail, I don't think it stands out enough. So I'm just going to um, shut up now <laughs> and I'll let you kind of just keep watching the different images that I try and the different outcomes that uh, basically come from that. So these are the two designs, I think they turned out 
quite well, bearing in mind it is my first attempt and hopefully you've kind of got the the gist of the double process stamping image it really is fun to try to achieve so you know just have fun with your recreations thanks for watching my channel today bye